Today and welcome to your favorite sport program on TV Plus Sport. As usual, today will be an interesting moment on the show as we look at um, two interesting um, football tournaments across um, outside the continent of Africa. One in Europe, that's in Germany, and also the the other one in America, Copa America. Uh, we will be having the finals of the 2024 Copa America on Monday, and that's going to be between. Title holder, defending champion Argentina, led by obviously Lionel Messi, and then um, Colombia, who is getting to the final for the first time more than um, in more than two decades, are uh, getting them um, to the final. So it's been so much jubilation for for the Colombian side, and unfortunately, it wasn't well at resort to the semi final between Colombia and um, Uruguay when it was so much of tension after the final means one goal set them at peace and that was called in the 39 minutes when um when the colombian side scored the first goal of um of there was a weakness during that goal they have been wasteful from um the liverpool Talisma, who is in the charge of scoring goal for the Uruguayan side was unable and also when suarez came also inside there are not so much of interesting moments for them so it's either one zero in favor joyful moment for the colombian side yes but uh yeah it's, it's not my job to dwell on that for today i have um, someone that has done so well for himself when it comes to football talking about um ojo Yebody, who is um, a coach and he also owns an ex player and he has traveled in and out of the country for the sake of um, football so he will be my guest for today as we look at um first and foremost the 2024 Copa America. It's good to have you on the show, um, Coach Oju Oyebode. I'm happy to be here again. Thank you so much for having me. That's an and exciting. I we're going to do that program today. Yeah, exciting moment. Um, we know that some months in this year we've had um, three continental football. First of all, was the Afcon, and ongoing simultaneously right now is um, the Copa America and the. Um, Euros going on in um, in Germany. Tell us, uh, what, 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 how do you feel about the Copa America? What's the interesting part about um, Copa America? Uh, thank you very much. I, I appreciate uh, the time given to me to talk about this. Uh, the most interesting part is the, the consistency that uh, the uh, current um, title owner is holding right now. They've been consistent. Uh, checking through the record, they've won in for the 15th time alongside with um, Uruguay. Unfortunately, they dropped at the at the semi-final. Otherwise, they would have been at least they have been fighting for the 16th title. That uh, are very impressive of uh, Argentina. Likewise, uh, Uruguay and uh, Colombia. It shows that um, after being uh, won it for uh, only one time, at least they are finding themselves in the, in the in the final this time around. I know there will be a lot of uh, support for them to make sure they they lift it there probably the second time, and it's uh, it's it's a wonderful time uh, watching uh, Copa America. So, what what have been the interesting moment for you so far in um, in this event? Is it surprising that we have um, Colombia and um, Argentina? playing in the final, looking at um, tournaments, because American, South America has one of the biggest um, exports of um, um, footballers outside our continent to the rest of the world. So the, uh, the final between is going to be on Monday between Argentina and also Colombia. Um, is, is, is none of, is put any of them is surprising finalists for you? Uh, it, it's not surprising. It's a job well done. If you know how to do it, uh, it will definitely show that you, you can do it. Uh, having uh, Messi played all around the world, he's still very relevant in the national team. I haven't done it for business and then for uh, the nation. The, it shows that uh, the, 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 the job belongs to them. It is not, uh, it is not a rocket science. It's what they do outside their, their continent, and they came back to come and do it for their nation. So it, it's impressive. I'm, I'm happy about that. The, the array of stars in, inside. So what we should be expecting on uh, Monday? Uh, because obviously bookmakers, you know, those that put the money when it comes to football and every other pundit who thinking that um, it is going to be um, a win for Argentina, making it and um, winning it 
um, also defending it properly. Do, do, do you think, are you also part of those that believe it's going to be an Argentine um, to take, to, to lose that game? Or you think the Colombia um, also have a side that at least with the pressure how they've sustained, um, the pressure that um, they have accumulated when playing with um, Uruguay, do you think it's going to be a final that you say, okay, this is Argentina, the old world, we say they have Messi, they have the Maria, and they have all these fantastic lads, and you know, with them, do you think it's going to be Argentina that will lift up the trophy at the end of the day? As a coach that I am, I won't conclude from the beginning of the match. The plan, the preparation can only determine, but the winner of the game is going to be after the 90 minutes. It might not also be after the 90 minutes, it might be after 121, 20 minutes. It might not also be after 120 minutes, it might also be after the penalty. So uh, coming to the final for Colombia, I, I'm very sure they're not going to be coming to come and um, to come and handle it likely. But if by adventure, um, uh, Argentina uh, eventually is uh, still show the stuff they are made of, but uh, no one should ever expect it to go to Argentina. No, nobody should. You said nobody should expect it. Nobody so, should expect it going to Argentina. So, so as, as Argentina are not the favorite for you in this final? As a matter of fact, the captain is my favorite, the nation is my favorite. But as a coach that I am, I, you know, I can't conclude from the beginning of the game. So it's not going to be a, an easy game. Uh, like I said, it might turn to be Colombia's uh, second time of lifting the trophy. And um, might also be the 16th time of um, uh, uh, Argentina uh, winning the trophy. But I'm very sure Messi will play all out his mind. Is that to win that trophy? But no one should expect it. Okay, uh, interesting because um, we all know that if you take statistics and comments that has been sent across the globe, if you look online and you know asking um, your next person, oh, who is going to win the final between Argentina and Colombia? Obviously, um, nobody will. You. The favorite is going to be the Argentine. They were favorite from the beginning of the tournament, and obviously they've got into the final of this, and they all just want um, 90 minutes or more to determine who is going to be the champion of the Copa um, 2025 America. Now let's look at a bit and do a bit of comparison in, in football in America. We saw the Nations Cup in Africa, and these two nations are obviously, um, these two continents, Africa and South America, um, are obviously well known when it comes to um, exporting um, football talent across the globe. Um, this two nation, continent are known. But to you, uh, how do you view in terms of preparations? Because I know Europe are better up when it comes to preparation, when it comes to the marketing and the brand of, of, of the game. What's your view as regards to what we saw in Côte d'Ivoire and also what we've been seeing so far in um, in America, I, I, I like I said earlier, consistency matters. Uh, the results orientation matters. If uh, it has been working in the past, you can always make it work even better in the future. So, and that's what I can see in uh, in Copa America. They've been doing it; it's been fantastic. If not that the time difference, it should have gotten a lot of attention. A lot of audience, as much as um, Euro is having currently, but because of the time, it's 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 demanding. But then it's a thing they've been doing, and they want to keep doing it. And we can see that uh, it's showing that uh, it is a factory of talent. They sold them to Europe, and yet they are giving back to the to the to the continent. And that is not it is not um, you know arguable. They are they are producing it. They are selling it, and yet they are still, it's still working for them. But if we are doing the same in Africa, we sell it, and they are, they are still working for us, it should have been better. But the reverse is the case in this um, so the biggest whole, whole scenario. Yeah. Now, bundles of talent this continent have given the world. Great players, great players, great talent in, um, in terms of football. Ooh, is it comparable or is something that should be a topic of discussion? But here to ask, um, being my guest on the show, that um, in terms of talent, not in terms of popularity, I mean, you might mention the Messi, the Ronaldo of this world, um, Ronaldo de Lima and the world of that, that's popularity. 
And that was what talent mm -hmm. had brought them. It's difficult for you to say, apart from George Ware, no other person has yeah. won African footballer, um, World Footballer of the Year. But in South America, we've seen great players have done that, have been nominated for that. But talent-wise, which continent do you think has gotten the best of the best when it comes to talent? Well, that can only be determined by the, by the current form of the talent discovered. So I wouldn't say we have more talent than them because we can't see that talent any longer because it's fading out. And we can see from that uh, uh, area of, um, uh, of the business that is still uh, 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 functioning right now. The world, current world best is from the South America. And like you also said, George Ray has, ever, has been the only African to have um, attained that height. So if since that time we've not gotten anybody, it is not, a, it is not a, an agreeable uh, uh, point or discussion that we, should, we don't have the talent. If the talents are not given, you know, they are not, they are not you can only say, uh, they are, uh, is it going to be a local champion or uh, a better before no be property? Hmm. So it is, it is, it's not, um, it is not a comparison. It's not comparable. We don't have it. We don't have it. If we have it, we are going to be seeing it. We don't have it. We don't have it up to the uh, South Americans. We, we, we don't have it because of um, the structure of, football, of the economy, or we don't have it because of um, we don't have it. Because, you know, we know America, in comparison, there can be a better structure. We've seen um, big great clubs in Argentina, big great clubs in Brazil doing so well, doing so well. Some of them have been to the World Cup club. Um, championship is it is that as a result of the infrastructure or is it a result of um, even regardless of the infrastructures um, the South America the continent of South America have more talent than us or is it a matter of infrastructure or the structure put in place infrastructure number one and the other one is the value we place on them if you have a thing you have to there will be a time you polish it There'll be a time you place it where you know it's going to be well taken care of, where it cannot be broken. You have to maintain it. So above all, it is just the value you place on it. If you have a talent and you don't nurture it, you don't polish it, you don't maintain it, we are definitely going to lose it. We have talent, yes, but if we are not seeing it, if it's not productive, then there's no reason why anybody will say we have the talent. If you if you have it, you don't you don't show it. You don't, you don't present it well. It's just like a showroom. When you have a good that you want to sell, you place it in a showroom. It's going to be shining every time. It's going to be polished every time. So anytime anybody comes, oh, it has to look attractive. But our talents are not attractive. They are not attractive. Attractive in the sense that uh, it is not about their look. Because most times you see their young talents uh, that have never collected, that have never played anywhere. They have to plate their hair. They put... Uh, uh, they do dreadlocks, they, they do so many things to create unnecessary identity, whereby the talent in them is not going to be seen. We are only seeing, you know, this physical appearance. We are not seeing the real talent that comes from the inside. So it is, a, it is about uh, the value we place on our talent that will determine if we actually have that talent and the infrastructure put in place to uh, place them in a, in a, in a marketable uh, level. To, to know that, um, Ojo, your body, that um, is the structures that actually really, really matter. Um, now, we, we are going to look at the fact that Brazilian side, um, so unfortunate, um, those are one of the favorite, the Brazilian team, we are one of the favorite to at least to do so, but um, we've not um, seen them um, as much as expected. And some are saying that this is the end of our era because we know we have players like Vinicius Jr. and some other players, Rodrigo. Who both play for Real Madrid, but beyond that, what do you think is happening to the Brazilian side? We've always known to be one of the best when it comes to not just in South America, but the global stage. Uh, if I if I if I see about that, because checking through the the record, the track record, they've won it only nine times, compared to uh, Argentina that has won it uh, fifteen times. The margin is not that much. The uh, the difference is that. Um, like I said today, no one should think that the trophy will be going to Argentina, even though it is my uh, favorite nation. But if I am Colombian coach, I will have or would have understood Argentina so well to make sure 
that I go home with the trophy. So come to think about uh, Brazil. Other teams, other nations, they are developing. I think I said it some time ago. Development is very important. No one wants to. When I check through the, the record, I discovered that if Argentina are winning this year, uh, Uruguay takes it the following year. If Uruguay takes it, Argentina takes it. It tells how consistent you want to maintain the reward. You want to maintain the laurel. You want to maintain the trophy. So come to think of Brazil, they have stars, fine. But other nations too are not sleeping. Hmm. Other nations too, they are developing. Other nations too, they are put, they are, they are, they are tightening up their belts. So that is it. It is not that uh, they really don't have it again. No, they won't be a champion forever. You know, if other nations too go and work so well on themselves, they can pause Argentina from taking it for the next five years. If they work so well, they can pause Colombia also or Uruguay for taking it for other years too. So it depends on how much effort. You can put into anything you are doing that will make you consistent wherever you are or whichever field you find yourself. So I think uh, it is not that they are, they are bad, except they have, you know, internal crisis, which has never been reviewed by anyone. But for now, I think other nations too, uh, they are not taking it uh, uh, easy with uh, the, 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 the popular teams or popular nations to say. Um, your academy. Do, do, what, what do your? I'm, I'm, not, I'm asking this because I'm sure a lot of people want to know. When games like this are going on, do you gather your players together to watch big teams like this, to as a sort of inspiration, as a source of? Um, I mean, do do you do that, or everybody just um, watching the various homes or wherever they are at that time? Or there's a gathering that prompts every like perhaps if the super egos are playing. But in South America, this is where everybody knows the best of the best, the best of the best are. So do you do that um, gather your players together to go to Vincent or a particular place to watch um, to watch um, the match? Uh, uh, thank you. That has never been done, though. They watch it uh, you know, at their various uh, convenience, probably you know, they go to bars and other being centers, you know, to watch them. And, you know, we talked about structure the last time. When we have an academic structure, there's supposed to be a camp. And in, within the camp, definitely there's going to be a lecture room where the uh, tactics of the game will be taught, where so many things will be done, where games can be reviewed. That is if there's a, there's a media structure where the previous games were recorded and it's been brought back to the clubhouse and discussed about our, our strengths and the weaknesses of that game, all those things we should have done better or what we should have done, you know, going forward in our next game. This, this structure is not actually in place presently. Otherwise, if we have to put it in place, it costs a lot. It has to do with a lot of resources. So it's in the, in the template of the academy to put it in place. Like I said the other time, we are starting the school soon, so all those things will definitely be there. Whereby a lot of them can can monitor their their mentor, where they can learn from their mentor, what their mentor does better. Because it is only when you are taught some things or when you are shown some things that you can really understand. They can also choose Messi to be their favorite. They really don't know the extra work Messi puts in place. They really don't know the positioning because watching the game on screen sometimes restricts us from getting some things because there are on and off the ball movements. So when the, 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 the ball is with the, the, the player, it can only be the time camera shows it. So what it does, you know, off the ball, it, it's not going to be shown, but we can always tell them that why the ball is here, you can be there. You can be expecting that, oh, when this ball gets to me, then I can take it to this place. That's what we, we call uh, play before the ball comes. So these are the things uh, that uh, we do. But basically, we really don't gather them together to, to watch together as, as, as um, resources cannot uh, you know, permit us to do that. Okay, well, well said. I appreciate your honesty. And then we'll not take our viewers' mind away from Copa 2024 Copa America still on Monday, um, where we know who's going to win between... Um, Colombia and um, Argentina. I will now also take our mind also to the ongoing game. Um, also, that I was going to be we expecting the final. We will now go to 2024 Euro, UEFA Euro 
um, cup going on there. That um, in um, Germany, the host nation is out of it. Just like in Copa America, the host nation is out of it. Let me ask you the same question, very similar. Uh, what's your? I think people watch uh, UEFA Euros 2024 than um, Copa America. You agree with me? Obviously. Obviously. Okay. Okay. So we have Spain and England in the final. Are this your favorite from the from from the beginning of the game? Spain has been my favorite. It's from the beginning of the game. Are this your favorite? I mean, from the beginning of the tournament. Spain has been my favorite. So you expect Spain to get to the final, right? Yes. Okay. Tell us a bit of how they become your favorite and then. Um, what they did that you seem that is that time um, something that is sparkling in them that brought them to the final um personally as a coach we have different philosophy so and i adopted the um, uh, barcelona way of uh, you know playing and which i know that most of the uh, spanish uh, players dominated uh, the team so their style of play and again the synergy haven't been playing together for a very long time or playing together day in, day out in their previous clubs or in their club side brings the same thing to the national team. It is as if we just continue from where we stopped hmm. in our in our club side day. So, and again, they paraded the young stars because, you know me, I, I, the idea is an academy, so when I see young players, I appreciate them a lot. Even most times I, 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 I post um, uh, Yama on my status just to show that I love when young players are playing. Just like in AFCON, my best player of that tournament is this boy. I can't remember his name now. That, that, that the youngest player, I think the boy that won the youngest player in that AFCON. So when I see young players, I like them. They are energetic. They are tactical. So they are objective. So I, 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 that's what actually uh, uh, motivates me in, about uh, 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 choosing a Spanish team as my favorite. They are very young, they play a fantastic game, and that's all. So they are not just your favorite because of um, this tournament, they are favorite because um, of the same philosophy you share with um, Barcelona, which um, they form a major part of the national theme in the past and you know, some recently. Um, so for England, um, it's going to be a tough one for England because they also, it's going to be a tough one for Spain and England. Who do you think we take the day if both of them play in the final? Um, when it talks about my favorite, I'll give it to Spain. When it talks about football, uh, at the end of the day, it might, it might turn out to be England. Mm. So in a game like this, England has never won it, uh, if, uh, if I'm correct with my, with my statement. But this time around, it's not going to be easy for Spain. So uh, I should give it to England because uh, when it happens, I will not feel that pain. I give it to England. Uh, we realize also that in Euros, they have one of the best teams in the world. I mean, we can say so much about South America, we can say so much about Africa. But in Europe, um, in Europe rather, they have one of the best teams that nobody, no person better from America, whether from um, Africa or from South America, we want to play German side in history. Mm. We know that. Uh, we, we look at football, we also say nobody, whether from South America or from Africa, we want to play an Italian side. You understand? Because, you know, all these two teams and many more have gotten that pedigree, a pedigree that weighs back into the 90s, 80s, 70s. They've been part German, West German, Italy, they've been part of them. But we can say there are talent in America, there are talent, there are talent in South America, there are talent in Africa. But football sometimes is very difficult to know where they come from because our Europe has made itself as one of the best um, continent that we have the best of the mm -hmm. best philosophies when it comes to... Are you surprised that the German side are out of the tournament, that um, are both of one of the best sides in the world? Um, are you surprised that um, the Italian side are out of um, the, the tournament. Also, we saw Croatia. We were thinking Modric um, mm. was going to do something with them. But to you, mm. which team surprised you most that was eliminated? Um, let, me, let me quickly take you back to uh, Germany, Italy, uh, you've just mentioned. When you, when, you, when you see the likes of players paraded by those nations, you will realize that um, their, 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 their age is no longer on their side. 
So it's there's tendency for them not to be able to carry on like other young nations. So that's why I said I give it to England today because if it turns out to be, you know, England's trophy, it's not going to be a new thing to me because you can see them playing day in, day out, and they are very young, just like, uh, you know, the Spanish side. So, so if Germany crashed out of that tournament as early as that or as at that time they crashed out, it might be that uh, that is where their strength can take them. It is not that they are not good. The same thing to the Italian side. You know, probably that's where their strength can take them. And then when it comes to the um, French side too, I think tactically they 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 they, they fail to to proceed from uh, that uh, stage. So if you pick, if you consider this um, uh, Copa Italia, um, Copa America uh, fin finalist and this the uh, European finalist, you will realize that it, it, it is similar. You can see the consistency of the Argentines. You can see the consistency of the of the Spanish side, and you can also see other ones who has actually taken it or that has never won it before or ever won it for the first time. So coming in together like this is not going to be uh, an easy final for the two of the uh, continent. Interesting. And um, so much talked about um, Saka, Bukayo Saka, Bukayo Saka um, doing this um, tournament. W what can you envisage for Bukayo Saka in the future? There's so much about Bukayo Saka, how good he is. There's so much about... Um, um, him in, in the England team and that's transcended from the, um, the last season in Arsenal and now is he a kind of player what, what, what can you say about Bukayo Saka obviously if there's anybody that is going to do anything on the final in between both sides England and Spain England um, a lot of people will be resting their shoulder on the um, um, on Bukayo Saka who also have um, in Nigerian heritage? Um, well, for me, my fear uh, about Saka is that um, if K is not taken, he might not um, play Farah uh, because he has been consistent as from, he was this, as from the time he was discovered. And that consistency uh, really needs a replacement. Hmm. Most times, it a full match. I think it needs to be conserved. That is why I am saying that statement, not ne being negative now, but being, you know, uh, uh, you know, from the coaching angle, if I hold such a player, I will time his, his, his game. I can set a target for him that within this so, so minutes, please try as much as possible to, to finish the game so you can rest. And then it might not be said directly to him, but it might be tactically handled. You know, but tournament like you this, know, um, yeah. Coach Ojo, tournament like this, you need the best players. I mean, even if there's going to be a time you have to rest a player, nobody will want to be rested, particular player who has done so well for, 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 for the world. I mean, I, I understand what you're saying, mm -hmm. but do you think at this time like this, in a time like this, everybody's bringing out their best and their best? What would you have done differently? Good. Good. Uh, presently, is what I practice. Because I make sure at every position in my team, I, I have two that can do the same, extra. I charge them to do it. In case one fails, the other one can still do the same. So that's what I think the, 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 the English team should be doing by now. Let's look for so another you're saying, player that you're, can you're, saying, that. you're saying that there's too much of burden on Saka from club to the national team. That... Um, that body can reduce its consistency in the long run. Exactly. So I think they're supposed to have by now, even the likes of Messi too should have been done the same. Like by now, I think we should be looking back to say, how do we replace this? How do we replace that? I'm talking from my own angle of, uh, yeah, of uh, observation. For now, that every player that we have ever seen do well in this game, we need to replicate. We need to orientate that guy. Can't you just be like this person? He has achieved this, he has achieved that. So I think, uh, like you said, definitely in a crucial game like this, no one will want to toy with it. Because I, I remember when uh, Spain played the, the quarterfinal game before they entered into the semifinal, there was the, the you know there was a substitution that was made that a lot of people complain that you shouldn't have you know done. You know, sometimes we coaches too are not perfect. We make mistakes just like players do. So sometimes you might feel like, oh, let me let, let's assume, or they might assume that the game has been won, and then you just reduce, you know, the tension on the attack 
Meanwhile, the tension will also come back to the defense, and that's why they consider that goal or something. So it's important that we need to also balance it. That's why the you know, national team job is so delicate than football club job. Because as a nation, it, it is it is do or die. Okay, you also let's look at the Spanish so, side. Uh, you also mentioned your the, the, the player that um, have been trending, apart from Bukayo Saka, when we have a, where the picture of trending between um, Messi having um, um, Yama. Yama. Um That picture has been historical. Is a picture of prophecy uh, because you know it's like a, 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 a handover sort of in in the Barcelona side or as the case may be. But now, um, what can you say about him? About uh, Yama. Yeah. Yaman has been my favorite player, being a young player that I've been given that opportunity to play in the national team. I wish that can happen in my country. Yeah. Um, that is really true. God, let me let me let me interject a bit. Um, let me interject a bit. Is Yama a player that we've never seen a sort of his type since in the last ten decades? Because I told myself that we've been hearing about Yama, and I'm a very careful person when it comes to high paying players initially from the beginning because they still have a long way to prove that consistency, they still have a long way to prove who they are. So I think it's a, but to me, is it a player that this generation has never seen or what makes him spectacular? Uh, what makes it spectacular is that it was discovered young and playing at, at that level, both for national team and for the club side. And he's not doing little, he's doing so well. So it is not that we have not seen such. When Messi was at his age, he was doing his best, he was doing as much as that. So if he has transferred that kind of virtue into him and is working right now, I think it's a very good one. It's historical and it's symbolical. So it's a very good one. It's not that we have not seen, we have seen. But now the consistency and the impact made in the team. There's something I studied about a team player. When somebody is a team player, that means he made an impact in the team, not that should just be there. Like I mentioned the Ivory Coast player too. You remember that guy made an impact. And when I was watching that final, I was telling somebody that why this guy has not been substituted from this game. He had an intention. He, they are, the coach has something that this guy have to do because i was in every coast uh during their their qualifier they beat uh, seashells 10-0 that guy was substituted at around 89 minutes mm. that guy did so well in that game so since that time i've noticed that young players at this at this level that is playing at that level uh, you know is spectacular so that is a this is a spectacularity about the boy not that we have not seen it we have seen it but it is it, spectacular and he's doing the job so, are you expecting to score, I mean, on, in the final? I am not expecting him to score, but he should make an impact in the game. He doesn't really mean he scores. Okay, and um, you, in the first one, Copa America, um, your favourite is um, Argentina, but we should not be surprised yes. if they lose. Um, now, yes. in um, Spain versus England, totally for Spain. Not total. <laughs> are you expecting? No, I said, are you expecting an upset? Yes, I said it earlier that I give it to England in case it turns the other way. I won't lose. I won't say I feel too bad about it. But I give it to Spain. Okay. Yeah. Let me not put you on the Indeed. spot, but I will not go without um, asking you um, if you can um, give us a scoreline in the first game. Uh, let's look at. Um, um, the game between Argentina and Colombia? Uh, so far, they've not been scoring as much as, you know, like I said, developments are taking place. So, beating a player 5-0, 4-0, all those days are, are, you know, are over. So, in this game, it might not be more than two goals. In favour of... more than two goals. Sir? In favour of... Argentina. Okay, Argentina. Okay, um, you know, we were expecting England, Spain. Uh, there'll be a draw. So after that? that game, I give it to England. You give it to England, okay. Uh, thank God you are not saying this on that duet, and then we have to come back to you um, to, to <laughs> let you know why it didn't go the way you expected. 
but I trust your top-notch um, 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 knowledge about the game. And if you didn't go even the way you said it, uh, football is obviously an unpredicted um, game at the end of the day. So if I remind ourselves and our listeners that um, Coach Oye Bode Ojo um, said that um, Spain is, um, England is going to win Spain, while um, Argentina is going to defeat um, Colombia 2-0. Am I, are, we, are we on the same page with that? Yes, I, I, I stick to that. I stick to that. It's a game. Okay. Yes, um, we want to say a big thank you for being part of this show. Thank you very much, um, Coach um, Ojo. Um, we want to extend our love and, you know, um, understanding of how you've taken um, your academy to the next level. We hope that um, in the future, um, we have um, one of the best players across the globe. That's the vision. Yeah, that's the vision. Yes, sir, we've been talking with um, Coach um, um, Ojo Yebode, who has been giving us his own understanding about um, the level of football in Euro 2024 and also Copa America 2024. So as I drop the curtain for today's program, I'll leave you with arrays of um, highlights um, of um, the recent games in um, Euro 2000. We'll start um, with the... Um, scenes and um, not, not the highlight of the game itself but um, the highlights of um, after the game that's England um, defeating Netherlands so much um, to talk about after then we also give you um, the highlight of all the games that happen in Copa America I'm with Ashim uh, we're so glad that you're part of today's show don't forget to join us on all our social media platform where the conversation never ends you can join us in our social media X uh, page you can also join on Instagram and Facebook where you have an opinion on the program or also you want to say one or two things in regards to our guests or how it can be beneficial um, for us. And don't forget that um, if you want to be a part of this when it comes to marketing and sponsoring uh, a sports segment on the program, you can um, check on um, our website and also on Instagram for the numbers of our marketing department where if you want to be a part of today's show, you want to bring in your brands, you want to bring in many things that um, can we, we can really partner together, as the case may be, so that the whole world um, can see what you have for them in terms um, of sports. So our marketing department, you can get the number on our website as regards to taking your brand and plus sports, plus TV Africa to the next level. Don't go away. Enjoy this wonderful highlight. Bye for now. Thank you.